Hello everyone and welcome back to Law Statistics. Today's presentation is based on stages of civil suit. So, admission that is defined under order 2. Either party may call upon the other party to admit within 7 days from the date of service of the notice any document saving all exception. Framing of issues, order 14. The next stage is framing issues. The job of framing issues is exclusively assigned to a judge. Issued are framed considering provisions of Order 14, Rule 1 of CPC. Ex parte decree. A decree against the defendant without hearing him or his in his absence or in the in absence of his defense can be passed under the following circumstances where one party from whom a written statement is required fail to present the same. Production of doc documents. After filing written statement by defendant, the next stage of the suit is documents. On this stage, both parties have to file documents in court which are in their possession or power. Appeal, review and revision. Appeal. An appeal may be an appeal from order or appeal from decree. Whereas review, the right of review is having very limited scope under the Civil Procedure Code 1904. Moving ahead, judgment under Order 20. The judgment means the statement given by the judge on grounds of which a decree is passed. The court after the case has been read shall pronounce judgment in open court. Now, stages of civil suit as per Civil Procedure Code 1908. Framing of issues by the court, summoning and attendance of witness, hearing of suits and examination, argument, judgment, preparation of decree, appeal, review, revision, and execution of decree. These are the stages of civil suit. Now, service of summons to expedite the filing of reply and adjudication of claim, the court may direct file of written statement on date of appearance and issue suitable summons for that purpose too. Now, preparation of decree under Order 20, Rule 6 and 6A. Once the judgment is delivered by a judge, a decree is to be prepared by a concerned clerk. The decree shall agree the judgment. It shall contain the number of the suit also and the names and descriptions of the party, their registered address too. Examination of parties, order 10. Examination of parties is an important stage after appearance. At first hearing of the suit, the court shall ascertain from each party or his pleader whether he admits or denies such allegations of fact as are made in the plaint or written statement. Such admissions and denials shall be recorded. The examination may be an oral examination too. Argument. As soon as evidence of both sides is over, then the suit is kept for argument. Once the evidence has been submitted and cross-examination is conducted by the plaintiff or dependent, both sides are allowed to present a summary of their case and evidence to the judge in the final argument session. Written statement under order 8. The defendant is required to file written statement of his defense at or before the first hearing or such time as may be allowed. Service of summons. Summons is an instrument used by the court to commence a civil action or proceedings and is a means to acquire jurisdiction over party. It is a process directed to a proper, a proper officer. Now, Interlocutory proceedings, the period involves between initiation and disposal of litigation is substantially long. Now, appearance of parties on the next day in the summons of the defendants is required to appear and party shall attend the court unless the hearing is urgent to a future day fixed. Summons and attendance of witness under order 16. Whereas hearing of suits and examination of witness as defined under Order 18 of the Civil Procedure Code 1904. Now we will again read out appeal, review, and revision. Revision the High Court in its revision jurisdiction can interfere in any case decided by subordinate court under certain circumstances. 
now ex parte decree where defendant has not filed a pleading it shall be lawful for the court to pronounce judgment on the basis of facts contained in the plain except against person with disability that's all for today's presentation thank you and have a great day ahead